Jesus called the devil a liar and the father of lies, that we all know. But did you know that he is such a liar that he wants to imitate God himself? That's right. And all this started when Satan was an angel of God, in fact the most beautiful and powerful among all the angels in heaven. But that was not enough for him. Satan wanted to be like God and not just a servant. See what the prophet Isaiah said about the intentions of the devil. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. The Bible also tells us that Satan convinced one-third of the angels in heaven to rebel against the Lord. But he and his army were defeated by God's angels and were sent to earth, where he became the devil and established his government of evil and lies. Even after being defeated, Satan continued and continues to desire to be like God and to be worshipped by people, just as they worship the Lord. The only way he has to achieve this goal is to deceive people, making them think that he is God himself. In today's video, I will show you that Satan desires to be so much like God that, in the end times, he will imitate the Lord even in his form of government and will act on earth with a satanic trinity. But before we start comparing the divine trinity with the satanic trinity, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and activate the notification bell so you'll be alerted by YouTube as soon as I upload a new video, okay? So, let's get started. God is a trinity, that is, a union of three persons in one divinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Bible shows us in the book of Revelation that Satan will gather a false trinity or a satanic trinity to try one last time to defeat the Lord. And for a while, he will achieve what he has always wanted. Humanity will worship him as if he were truly God. And to achieve this, he will send a false messiah, the Antichrist, who will be proclaimed as the savior of the world by a false prophet, an imitation of the Holy Spirit who testifies about Christ. Together, these demonic figures will rule the world for a brief period. However, their dominion will not last, as it is a great lie. So from now on, let's analyze each character in this satanic trinity and see how they will twist and deceive millions and millions of people during the end times. The first person of the satanic trinity, Satan pretending to be God. Just as God the Father is presented in the Bible as the author of our salvation, Satan is known as the author of human destruction. He is an enemy of God and, therefore, an enemy of humanity. All evil comes from him. Satan is not good, and in him there is no love, compassion, grace, or mercy. Demons and humans worship him, even without knowing it, because he pretends to be good all the time, pretending to be powerful, just like God. He makes promises he cannot fulfill, all to seduce people and make them not serve the true God. The book of Revelation describes Satan as a great dragon seeking to destroy Israel because he knows that if that nation is destroyed, Jesus cannot return. As the Lord said, he would only return when the people of Israel recognize him as the true Messiah and say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But thanks to God, Satan cannot fulfill his goal because God always protects his people. So the Bible says the dragon will persecute Christians, those who follow Jesus. That's why the Apostle Peter left us the following warning. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. The second person of the Satanic Trinity, the Antichrist, pretending to be the Messiah. In his final attempt to rule the earth and prove to everyone that he can be as powerful as God, Satan will raise up the Antichrist, who will deceive the world and lead it to worship him. In Revelation chapter 13, we see that after the dragon, a beast with ten horns, ten heads, and ten crowns rises from the sea, and to it the dragon gave power, his throne, and authority to rule the earth. See what is written. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? 
The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise its authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. It was given power to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. And it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. All whose names have not been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, the Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. The beast, who is actually the Antichrist, will come as a very powerful and influential man, deceiving humanity into thinking that he is the true Messiah. We know that the Messiah already came 2,000 years ago, and his name is Jesus Christ. However, many Jews are spiritually blinded and do not accept this truth. They are still awaiting the Messiah and will be deceived by a man who performs signs and wonders and sits on the throne of the third temple that will be built in Israel until he ultimately reveals himself as the Antichrist. See what the Bible says. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie and all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Firstly, just as the true Messiah Jesus demonstrated his authority by performing many miracles and wonders during his first coming to earth, this false Messiah will also showcase supernatural feats. However, unlike Christ's miracles, which aim to lead people to worship the true God, the Antichrist miracles will be intended to lead people to worship the false god, Satan. Secondly, it is possible that the Antichrist may also experience a form of resurrection, similar to Jesus. In Revelation chapter 13, it is written that he will suffer a seemingly mortal wound, but will be healed. Then the people of the earth will be amazed and follow him. We do not know how this false resurrection will occur, but it will be used as evidence that he is indeed the Messiah. Thirdly, the Antichrist will rule the earth from Zion, as prophesied about Jesus in Psalm 132. He will do this by erecting a living image of himself in the third temple, and will demand that the world bow down before this image. These three events will fulfill the prophecies made by the prophet Daniel and mentioned by Jesus as a terrible sacrilege. In this way, Satan will finally be worshipped by the world as God, but it will all be a great deception. The third person of the Satanic Trinity, the false prophet, pretending to be the Holy Spirit. Another character of the Satanic Trinity that will emerge to deceive the world with lies is the false prophet. The Apostle John saw him rise as a beast with two horns like a lamb, but speaking with the authority of the dragon. However, this image of the false prophet is also symbolic. In reality, he will appear as a flesh-and-blood human being. Inspired by Satan, the third person of the Satanic Trinity will mimic the biblical prophets, who were inspired by the Holy Spirit, and he will proclaim the Antichrist as the Messiah. The false prophet will act like John the Baptist, who announced the coming of Christ, and will be able to perform supernatural signs like Elijah, Isaiah, and other great men of the Old Testament, to prove the truthfulness of his testimony. He will also demand that the world worship the Antichrist and receive his mark, and those who refuse to do so will be killed. See what the Bible says. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed, and it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in full view of the people. Because of the signs it was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast, it deceived the inhabitants of the earth. It ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. And finally, from this satanic trinity, a final deception will arise. The Bible tells us that from the mouth of the dragon, from the mouth of the beast, and from the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs will come out, 
These are demons that will cause all the rulers of the earth to gather their armies for a final battle against the Jews in Jerusalem, called Armageddon. This war will aim to destroy any hope of repentance for the Jewish people and the emergence of the kingdom of Christ. But in Revelation chapter 19, it is written that the true Messiah, Jesus, will come from heaven riding on a white horse to take his place as the rightful king of the earth. The Lord will simply speak the word, and Satan and his armies will be defeated, men will be killed, and the beast and the false prophet will be cast into the lake of fire. However, Satan will not be banished forever. He will be imprisoned for a thousand years and will only be released at the end of this period, known as the Millennium of Christ, to be defeated once and for all and sent to the lake of fire in hell forever. And this will be the end of the Satanic Trinity. My dear brother and sister, even though the Bible shows us that the fall of Satan will occur in the future, he is already a defeated enemy, thanks to the death and resurrection of Jesus on the cross. So do not allow the enemy to deceive you, making you believe that he is as powerful as God, and that if you serve him, you will have everything you want in this world. Remember that the devil is a liar and makes good appear evil and evil appear good. Therefore, recognize today that Jesus Christ is the true Messiah and your salvation depends on him alone. Amen? If you enjoyed this message, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. God bless you.